Hello everybody again. This I'm now at my third memorial of the day, my first day. This mem memorial uh, commemorates the victory of the Battle of Incheon. Uh, more than 75,000 troops uh, in the United Nations Command fought in this battle and um, more than 2,000 were wounded and I believe more than 500 were killed. But on the other side, more than 35,000 died in um, North Korea. So what I want to first emphasize is that I am not here to glorify war in any way. I'm here to pray for peace because uh, war is grave. War sucks. It takes too many precious lives, too many precious young lives. And so I am here to actually honor all those who died in this war and just to hope that this war will ultimately end, you know? Because, yes, um, this battle, of course, changed the tide in the Korean War. And um, South Koreans, Koreans, uh, were able to gain freedom all over the world. Uh, and then we, you know, like myself, Korean America, we were able to immigrate. But I don't know, I think of this divided peninsula and it still hurts. So here it is, it says this um, tower um, it honors those from the United Nations that came and sacrificed their life for this country. Um, wow, this was built 2017 October. Hey, less than a year ago. That's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. So last year when I visited Seoul, it just didn't even exist. So that is cool. And yes, it is raining, but rain or shine, I still go. Whoa. These are a lot of names. Um, Although these are South Korean names. Yeah. This is a lot of people that fought. And the funny thing is, I mean, although I don't, I can't think of anybody, you know, that I know that fought here neither of my grandparents fought in the Korean War. Um, you know, they look familiar, these names, right? So, again, this is the mark of peace in the United Nations of the globe. And look, it's actually kind of remarkable how big this tower is. It's huge. And um, just finding this place was actually very difficult. We passed by two different memorials before even getting here. So I do appreciate the fact that the South Korean government remembers. You know, I hope that the people do, but at least um, the government does. So here's a tank um, and of course more names of those who died in the war. Oh, speaking of, so just like this, the names, right? Um, what I'm trying to raise awareness and funds for is the Wall of Remembrance in Washington, D.C. to list the 36,000 plus and the 8,000 POW MIAs who were killed in Korea, as well as 7,000 Koreans who fought along, uh, who fought as part of the U.S. Army. So again, this memorial uh, yeah was built to commemorate the victory because it led to the recapture of Seoul the capital of Korea however again I do want to emphasize that I am not here to say you know who won and who lost because if there's no peace I think we all kind of lost um, However, I do thank all the veterans who, who gave so much, I know, for all over the world, but 
all the more for young people like us, for you and me, who didn't fight to fight, to, uh, who didn't fight in the war to fight for peace. And I, I'm really hoping. I know it sounds sometimes really cheesy when I do this, but that's really what I'm hoping for, and that's what I'm trying to do. You know, but they fought during the war, so I'm just trying to fight kind of a little bit for peace. So here I am. I am going to lay these flowers and I hope all of you joining me would join me in a moment of silence in their honor. So again, um, this was just my first day but it's been just incredible and while my body is very tired my heart is so happy and so excited and wherever you're watching thank you for joining me and cheering me on let's hope that the, the final day um, when I land arrive at the United Nations Cemetery on the 21st International Day of Peace I hope that um, 7 to 7 Armistice Day will be no longer an armistice but a day of peace so ah. to all my grandpas I want to say thank you and I love you remember 727.org bye